Absolutely. Um, like like they've been saying before, I've been fighting at the this highest level for the last 10 years in the boxing game. Fought the best, fight the best, won multiple championships. So, you know, it's only right as a person, you get a little bit tired. You get a little bit mentally tired. You know, I was never physically tired, but I got to admit, I did get a little, a little bit mentally tired, and I felt like I just needed a break to miss boxing, to miss boxing. Because I know once I come in here and I feel good and I feel rejuvenated and I feel like I missed it and I loved it and I can't wait to get back in there, I know that that's, no one could beat that Danny Garcia. So all I needed was a little bit of time off, you know, have a little bit of fun, enjoy the fruits of my hard labor, spend time with the family, have watch boxing, become a student of the game. Because you just don't have to fight to learn. You know, you can, you can watch boxing, you can be in the gym watching these young guys train and you, you always – you always learn something new. So I just need the time just to feel good again. And I feel great. And um, the results are looking good. Every day in the gym, I'm coming here smiling. I'm working hard and I'm having fun. And like I said, when Danny Garcia is happy, he's a very dangerous man. Hey, Danny, it's good to see you back in the ring. First off, is this the longest layoff you ever had go coming for, for a fight? At, at this level, yeah. At a championship level, yeah. But in the beginning of my career, I had an injury. I was off for a little bit, too. I think I was like 7 or no. I was off for like almost two years because I broke my thumb. But other than that, yeah, at this level, yeah, it's my, it's my, high, it's my longest layoff. But I did have year layoffs, then when I came back, it just it didn't, you know. Like, when I'm in here now, I don't, it don't even feel like I never left. I'm just picking up where I left off, to be honest. It's like riding a bike to me at this point in my career. I've been boxing for 24 years, so... I already know what I got to do. I know what I got to eat. I know how, how much I got to run, how much I got to spar. I know what I got to do to get ready. I've been doing it for so long. And what did you take away from the Earl Spence fight that you can take going into this one? You know, at the end of the day, it was a good fight. You learn from every fight. Every fight, even when you win, you learn. So you always learn something in every fight, you know, so you just take it with you. You build from it. You, you recover from it. And you just grow as a person. You grow as a fighter. And you just use everything you learn into the next fight. You just keep learning every time. So it was not but a learning experience. You know, it was a great experience. I had fun in there. It was a great fight, competitive fight. And we're on to the next. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.